Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. What's next in our list of challenges? Eh, it's in the cards. We'll see if it actually is in the cards. Last time I did a hard mode run. It was pretty awesome. What do we got going on here? We have a deck of cards. We have the starter deck. We have, like, batteries coming out of all sorts of uncomfortable places. We have Justice, which gives us a bunch of random items, I think. Well, yeah, okay. Cool, that's awesome. And then we have the High Priestess, which is a Deathly Mom Stomp. Um, also, we now have the Chariot. Because we're going to be doing lots and lots of card-related things. Which is really cool. I The tarot cards and things are just really, really awesomely powerful. But this is a challenge run, meaning there's probably not going to be any item rooms. Uh, use a bomb to get a whole bunch of other bombs. You know what? Sure. I'm a fan of that. What do we got in this room? These stupid red spiders. These guys are awful. Come on. What are, what are you doing? Seriously. Come on, buddy. You're, like, you're not even attacking me. There we go. Uh, we could maybe get... I mean, we could get into the shop. I don't think it'd be worthwhile, though. We're gonna try something. Aha! I can... Okay. So I can... I, I finally figured out how to actually swap between the multiple items when I have them like this. So I'm gonna... Try... Dang it. Not to get killed by flies was the rest of that sentence. Um, I'm gonna keep the High Priestess out. That does just an offensive amount of damage. Ooh, 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 I like dimes. Um, it does a ridiculous amount of damage, so I'm gonna use it against the boss and hope that it just absolutely wrecks the boss, which it should. However, now that we got a bunch of cash, let's maybe see if we can get one more penny from Wrath. Who's gonna walk into his own bombs. I feel like Wrath has some AI issues. Alright. He was easy. Oh, can we like supercharge our items? Is that a thing that's happening? Because we have a like an orange bar just beyond our regular full green bar. This is really interesting, actually. Um, I'm going to buy this. I don't think we need the baggie for the pills. I think I, I think I'm pretty satisfied focusing on cards, unless I get something absolutely amazing to replace my deck with. Oh, yeah, Dingle. Here, have some mom. Oh, my goodness, and I take a hit still. Speed and damage up from the growth hormones. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we'll use our cards. The moon teleports us to... Something? Item room? Secret room? I don't remember. I always mix up which card teleports us where. Um, either way, let's go in here. Ho oh, ho ho ho, damage. I love damage. So that is the pentagram. It is a pretty beefy damage upgrade. So we're at three. Is it one or two? Just one. That's still good. Red patch. Don't know what that does. Uh, let's go ahead and use the moon and see if it teleports us. Yeah. 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 Awesome. So we didn't take damage on our way back out of the curse room, which is really, really cool. 
still have the chariot. Can either save it or use it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll see what we get with our next uh, card. These spiders really aren't that bad. Uh, the little, like, nests that they can cough up, though, are pretty bad because, as you saw there, they spawn the smaller regular spiders. Those things, uh, they're, they're irritating to deal with. Okay, so the moon, again. So we could teleport to the secret room. Again, I'm, as you might expect, not going to use it on this floor. I'm going to save it for the next floor. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I like having this much damage. This is fantastic. Pride! How are you doing, Pride? Haven't seen you in a little while. And you're gonna blow yourself up. That's awesome. Come on, Pride. There we go. There we go. It was easy. What are you? The sun. Ah. Uh, we will come back for that after I use the chariot against the boss. I also had another thought. Let's go check out... The arcade. Let's play a little game I like to call See if Invincibility lets us play the Blood Bank a whole bunch of times without taking damage. The answer is yes, by the way. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I will right, we'll play this a little bit, and then I'm going to go pay a visit to the shop here in a moment. We'll drop down to, like, 25 coins or something. Hopefully I get something out of the deal. Ooh, a rune. What are you? I don't want to drop my moon card vision. What did that do? Do you have any idea? Oh, that let me see where the top secret room is. Check that out first. More cards. We'll deal with those in a moment. Yeah, I'll get the map. Uh, could buy another card. We got plenty of cards. I will buy a battery, though, just because why not? It gives us the chariot again. Okay. You know what? Ow. That was dumb of me. Let's go do the exact same thing with the blood bank machine again. Ow. Well, and the ivy bag. Yeah, I don't care about that. I want my cards. Uh, well, played it one too many times there, but that's okay. Grab that. We have the moon. And then uh, the sun. And then two of spades. We'll double our keys. We have a crap ton of keys. A card against humanity! I don't know what that does. That's something that we've unlocked. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, sure, you can just hang out in here. You know what, Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, sure, you can hang out in here also. And... Temperance is the blood bank machine again. I would love to get another chariot card. Wouldn't that be swell? Also, I would love to get a bunch of hearts here, too. That, yeah. Keep giving me hearts, please. Key's good. That's okay. Hearts. Key. Let's blow you up. Let's play this a bunch. I would love to get that blood bag and get the extra HP. That would be fantastic. 
Well, it looks like it's not going to happen. We can play this a bunch with all that cash that we just picked up. Ooh, almost walked into the fly. That would have been bad. Nothing. Well, blow you up. Card against humanity. So I have two cards against humanity. I don't know what those do. Uh, what are you, the moon? No, let's stick with the card against humanity. Okay, so let's go use one in the boss fight and see what happens. Okay, room full of poop. It is exactly what one might expect from a room full of poop. It literally just fills the room up with poop. Does it trap? Is the boss trapped? Monster might be trapped. He might not be able to move in the room full of poop. I can't really move in the room full of poop either. Which is a bit of a problem. What a weird thing. This is weird. There's so much poop. There is so much poop. I can't believe how much poop there is here. Sure, we'll do this. Come on up here, Monstro. Can you... You almost got it. There we go. This is like one of the weirdest things that I've ever had happen in this game. And that's saying something because this game is weird. There's some crazy, crazy stuff. All right, well, we killed Monstro. Let's, uh, let's start working our way through the poop here. Now, it would be really nice to have the card against humanity and then also have the, uh, the petrified poop, which I think increases the drop rate of items from poop. Okay, I'm not going to do that all day. Okay, so something we have is just turning, like, every drop into... Uh into cards. Lovers, that's actually awesome here. The Devil, that's pretty awesome as well. The Emperor will... Yeah, that's pretty good, too. Um... Thinking, thinking, thinking. I have a plan. I don't know if it's a good one. Card against humanity. Seriously. Oh, there's another heart in here, too. Okay, let's... we'll grab that heart. Hmm... I was hoping to get something from that. Alright, well, let's go... We'll grab this heart. Sorry, there's, there's a lot going on here. I like the moon. I like the emperor as well. I like the devil. I like all these cards. I gotta pick which one I want to keep with me. Um, let... Eh, uh, no. Moon and the emperor. That'll be fine. That's good enough. I don't want to waste all my time here. Grief, we're only on basement two. Alright, room full of poop. That's a thing. It's a thing that happens. It literally just fills the room up with poop. Okie dokie. Sure, I have a million keys. We will... We'll do the goat head thing. I still don't know what this does. We go into the curse room. Use one of our very, very few bombs. Okay. Uh, we will use the moon. Send us to the secret room. Another freaking slot machine. I'm not going to play this one forever. We'll get one bomb, though. That's that's a good deal. Uh, especially because I... No, I don't need a key. Um, we'll check out up here, because why not? Not really much point to that room, but it did give us back another charge on our deck of cards here.
So I'm gonna blow the mushrooms up so that we can get at that battery. I'm not gonna do anything with that battery just yet. Oh man, another Wheel of Fortune. Don't care about you. Uh, we'll come back for it though as soon as I have a full charge on my card deck, which will happen right here. Use you, get it to a diamonds. That'll double the amount of cash that we have on us. We will use you and get the fool, which will teleport us back to the spawn area, which is kind of useless. Um, yeah, we'll use two diamonds now. Why not? Probably not the best idea. I probably should have saved it until we already like we came in here and uh, or until we went and maybe got more money. We'll do that though. That's good. The magician homing tears for a room. That's not bad. Could be useful. I don't know. Uh, that's the fool. Don't need it. What's our other card? The emperor. Actually, I don't think we have to go to the womb here. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. I should pay attention when we uh, transition to the next level. If we do, then I want to save the Emperor for that. If we don't, then the Emperor is kind of useless, because I want to do what, everything I can on each floor to maximize my odds of beating Mom. Chest's inception there. Dokey. These enemies aren't too bad. They just kind of randomly wander around a little bit. Leave their trail to creep. They're really not bad. Deal with all these fatties before I blow up those TNT barrels. Nice and safe. There's another rune. Those runes are really interesting. They don't show up all that often. Vision, again. Oh yeah, that gave us... That shows everything on the map. All the rooms. Secret room and everything. Well, let's go... Now, we'll go back for the secret room. We'll do that in a little bit. Let's go deal with the boss first. Mm. Let's check out the... Arena. You. Hot bombs. Burning blast, plus five bombs, and we're on fire, which includes a cool little, uh, like, lighting effect. Temperance. What are you? May you be pure in heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same old freaking thing. Go figure. I don't really know what these fire bombs are gonna do. I'm kind of... You know what? Let's, let's use one. Okay, fire bomb! It's literally a bomb that's on fire, and it leaves fire behind after it explodes. I would assume that fire would damage the enemies, and maybe also us? I'm not sure. Also, my head is on fire, which looks awesome. I'm gonna keep pointing that out, because it's not getting any less awesome. Uh, whoops, wrong button. Drop temperance there. I don't know. I don't really care at all. Um, all right, boss, and then we'll go back for the secret room. Pin, double pin. I don't. Have we f actually fought pin like as a boss in one of the boss rooms? I don't think we have. Okay, let's use the magician. Homing tears, not that big of a deal. I mean, pin's not difficult to hit ever. Uh, Pin is just a much easier version of Skull X. We don't actually have to... Apparently they were literally on top of each other doing the same thing, by the way. So we killed one of them. Uh, we don't have to hit only his tail. All of Pin is... weak to my tears. Uh, whereas Skull X, you, you have to hit him just on the last little glowy bit of his tail. Otherwise the boss fights are pretty much the same. Cool, so I didn't take damage. We did get a deal with the devil. Speedball uh, increases my speed and the speed of my shots. Gimp Mask is maybe interesting. Ghost Baby, not so much. Gimp Mask, I th 
think it has a chance to give us hearts or soul hearts or something when we take damage. That seems to be what it's done the, the very few times that I've been able to use it. All right, let's very quickly run back and check out the top secret room. And we'll take the full little speed up our journey back ever so slightly. Does that hurt me? No. Okay, cool. Hey, petrified poop. That would have actually been useful back when I had two cards against humanity. And now I have none. All right, let's see how far we got to go here. Okay, yeah. So just to mom, we don't have to go and defeat mom's heart or anything. So I'm not really going to bother with the emperor in that case. This is kind of an interesting challenge. It's not particularly challenging. I mean, tarot cards are pretty universally great. There really aren't many bad ones. Um, where are we at? Caves 2? Yeah, I kept the Emperor because I was just expecting to have to go to the womb. Like, I, I'm just so... that's so ingrained in me. It's like muscle memory. I just... I have to stick with it because I'm... No, oh, this room is awful. This room is the worst thing ever. Um... Just because it makes going through the womb only half of an ordeal. Nowhere near as bad as it usually gets. Alright. Uh, I will use you. Wheel of Fortune. That's awful. I like to stop getting those. Okay, there's the boss room. I have taken way too much damage. I would love to find the shop. Arcade might be useful, too. We'll keep that in mind. This room is the worst thing ever. Not really this room, just that one enemy, the big poop. That one that's charging around. I hate them. Any enemy that charges you is just the worst thing ever. Well, no, I, that's... it's Anything that charges you is the second worst enemy ever. The worst thing ever is the stupid friggin' bone-throwing skeletons. I hate them. Grief. We're getting so many keys. I can't believe how many keys we have. I really like the spitting sound effect that these things make. I think it's pretty awesome. Eh, sure. So I still don't know if there's, like, a trick to killing them without getting them to split into their other weaker form, or if it's just completely random, or what the deal is there. I don't understand. Don't know. Seems like it might just be random. Justice. Oh, that's just more stuff. Here, just have lots of stuff. I like stuff, so we'll do that. I don't know why I'm holding on to the Wheel of Fortune. It's really, really pointless. I mean, maybe we could get a fortune teller's machine? That would actually be pretty awesome. Get some soul hearts, because my HP is not great. I'm actually kind of worried about the mom fight, because I just... I can't take very many hits. Our damage is good, though. For once, I don't have any complaints about our damage. Breed! I almost dodged right into your shot. Mm. 
And I did dodge right into your shot there. Good grief, another dime. Alright, well, you know what? Let's wheel of fortune, play it a little bit. The lovers! That's actually pretty good. Relatively good. Play it down to 15. Pretty fly. Okay, that's awesome. That is exactly what I wanted. Empress? Uh, Whore Babylon for a single room. So that's actually quite good. These things, I'm going to not use my firebombs because I think, I suspect, knowing this game, it would probably just light them on fire and we would just have fire hoppers because they're the one enemy that just catches on fire and becomes stronger. And I walked right into that. Well, guess we're using the lovers. Good freaking grief. That was a stupid thing to do. Um, and I have a thought. Oh, and I almost walked onto those again. Thought, and it was a pretty good one. I think. Ah. Sure, we'll do this. Ooh, that is fantastic. Me. There we go. Awesome. And then we'll use the Emperor just to go right to the Gertie room. You know, let's use the Empress and get that extra damage and then dodge right into one of Gertie's shots. Oh my gosh, I'm taking so many really dumb hits from those flies. I didn't die there. Ooh, an angel room. That's fantastic. Oh, and three soul hearts. That is also quite fantastic. And we got the HP upgrade. Whew. Yeah, okay. Feeling pretty good about that now. Suddenly, our fortunes have reversed somewhat. We got a lot of HP right at the end there. Okay. Um, shop is still worth visiting, that's for sure. And I have, like, all the keys in the world, so I don't have to worry about that. The Joker. That will teleport us directly to the Devil Slash Angel Room. Which would be fantastic. Dang it. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then why not? Let's just go check it out. So, Guppy's collar. Not worth it. Not at all. So, I'm sad that it's a devil room and not an angel room, but whatever. What can you do, right? Alright. Still want to find the shop. Could keep doing other rooms just for the sake of trying to charge my card deck. I don't really think it's necessary, and this is Necropolis, so it's the tougher floor, <laughs> in theory. So far, the uh, mom's hand creatures aren't particularly scary. They're actually kind of easy to deal with. 
And I'm a fan of that. Oh, card against humanity. Cool, so we can fill another room with poop. Just what I've always wanted. I like that those things um, are using their brimstone to kill the other things. All right, here's the hollow. Pretty easy boss. Yeah, I'm... Oh, dang it. Walked right into that poop. Um, I definitely want to use this card against humanity and then destroy all the poop and see if we get, like, just some crazy things dropping. Because look at that. Things are dropping like mad against this boss here just from destroying its poop. You could totally use this item to just farm, like, Larry Jr. or the Hollow and just get, like... I mean, all sorts of health and... Spirit hearts and all sorts of stuff. Um, yeah, let's use it. Poop. Look at all that poop. And yes, it looks like we're gonna get pennies from pretty much all of it. Yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let's just put a bomb there. Deal with a whole bunch of those all at once. So in the original game, I think using explosions, if I'm not mistaken. As I've mentioned, it's been a while, but I think using explosions to kill uh, poop or fires or anything like that would prevent you from getting any drops from them. Like, they wouldn't... It would be guaranteed that they would not drop any items when they were destroyed in that fashion. That looks to not be the case here. Yeah, you know what? We'll just... Uh, we'll drop another one there. I know it's a waste of a couple of bombs, but it is saving me a bit of time. I, I don't actually have to be doing this. Although it is kind of therapeutic and I kind of can't stop myself anymore. My OCD is kicking in a little bit here. We have way more money than we could ever hope to spend on this and the remaining one other floor. But, you know, it, it, it's cool. All right. Done with all that. This is probably our shop. Also got a corn poop there. Which, of course, just means more poop to destroy. Uh, I don't like these greedhead enemies. The double shot is, like, terrifying and really tough to get used to. I still dodge into their double shot quite frequently. Okay, so we can finally buy that toaster looking thing. Magic fingers, pay to play. I'm spending a penny, but I don't know what that does. Let's go. Okay, so that just spends money to damage everything in the room? That's kind of awesome. <laughs> Especially considering how much cash I have. Hey, Gertie Juniors. Let's just wreck you. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Oh, deal with the devil. I wonder what it is. Um... Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Let's save it for the mom boss fight, I think. But, uh... I'm kind of a huge fan of this. This is awesome. Well, let's go this way. That was really cool, too, because I don't like fighting Gertie Jr. Ow. I also don't like fighting these ghosts. They have way too much health. Oh, I thought they were all dead. Oh my gosh. There we go. Safety cap. Nope, not as much fun as the petrified poop. 
Although, without the deck of cards, I don't know that we're going to be seeing too many more cards against humanity. But, boy oh boy, did that ever pay out in a very big way. Uh, sure, bomb and a key, why not? Hobbs rotten head. Uh, we could use that to try to find, like, the secret room. Let's check one place to see if it's the secret room. It was not. That was an ex- uh, that was a fiery, poisonous explosion, by the way. Oh, man. Uh, game, you're... You're tempting me. kind of want to find the shop, just to see if there's anything interesting. And if, by chance, we do encounter, like, Super Greed, um, then we could potentially get a bunch more cash. We could also potentially lose a bunch of cash if I take a bunch of hits. And it's also not even very likely... Holy cow, speaking of taking a bunch of hits... Um, it's also not terribly likely that we encounter Super Greed in the first place, I don't think. Ow. Okay, this is, uh, getting kind of chaotic. Okay, that's one down. Not entirely sure how he died, but I'm okay with that. That's another one down, I think. Yeah, you're, you're the last one, aren't you? There we go. Hearts that I don't need. Uh, we'll go down. This is awful. I will spend some cash. I don't mind. We have so much money. Oh, we don't have... Oh, man. We don't have that much now, but we, we still have a lot. Also, this looks like this is actually our shop. Okay, you're dead. Battery, useless to us right now. Dang it. Oh, dang it. I should have just used my magic fingers. Haha, <laughs> wiggle worm! Just for fun, just because, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna stick with that. Well, Bible, we could take the easy way out. I don't want to take the easy way out, do you? I will, we'll buy that, though. I mean, I'm going to use magic fingers, like, probably 27 times, so... Yeah, maybe that is kind of like taking the easy way out, but... I'm not, I'm not just going to use the Bible, come on. I'm better than that. Maybe if we needed to go all the way to Mom's heart... Okay, so I can just do this until the cows come home. Uh, let's use our strength card. And then... Alright. Yep, out of cash. That's okay, though. This is the... crazy blue elite version of Mom. Uh, meaning it spawns lots and lots of enemies, and they're all, like, really abnormally tough Wrath of the Lamb enemies. I kind of had meant to kick that bomb upwards, but... Not where I meant that bomb to go, that's fine. The world! Hey, we can uh, see everything that's on the level now. Which really didn't matter. Alright, well... It's another victory. Uh, let's take Lord of the Pit, which lets us fly. Why not? We will grab that trophy in style. Yeah! Awesome, what do we get? Super Meat Boy, Super Fan. I th think that was in Vanilla Isaac. 
Anyway, yeah, that was a good one. That was uh, that was a nice relief considering how a lot of those other challenges have gone. Like that one was not hard, but it was fun. And that's all that matters. Very cool. We're making pretty good progress on those challenges. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time. <laughs>